Hello, and how are you doing? Today, we're going to be playing a new mod pack called Stoneblock. If you don't know what Sky Stoneblock is, it's a lot like Sky Factory, except, look at this, it's in the ground. Single player, create new world. So, we should just call this, um, something random. F1. F1. That's what we're naming it. So, yeah. We're going to be playing this for a new series. And I hope you're enjoying the Sky Factory series, but... And if you are enjoying my videos, please like and subscribe. I'm a small YouTuber, you really need it. And I hope you enjoy the video. So, now we just wait for it to load. Currently, we are just going to be um, trying with this here. Waiting for this to load. Look at what's in our inventory this better questing book thing. And you use this to open the quest. I already have it keybind. You open the quests, quest lines, and first thing you do, start a stone block. Like I said, it's like Sky Factory, but you're in the ground of only stone. I will say, if you want to go along with me in this journey, I know my way around mods like this, so. I should be. You should be good if you follow me. But first things first. To start, you, get, you have to get stone pebbles. Obtained by breaking stone with an empty hand. And there should be a torch whenever you spawn in on one of the walls. Just put that right in the middle, or it'll give you a little more light. But what you do is you break stone, make sure it's always um, your hand has no things inside of it. Now I know it says only 16, but if you're playing long, I want you to get 32. Because you'll probably need it. Alright, so whenever you complete a quest, you get these loot chests. These loot chests can give you, like, really anything. Next thing you get a stone craft table, but first we're going to open this. A lot of the times so it will actually only have stuff that will be useful later. Look at that. Put the stone pebbles in a crafting grid, and they'll turn into cobblestone. So next thing you want is dart. Dart is obtained with a hammer, hammer, smashing progression. As you can see, and if you've watched some of my other videos, cobblestone, gravel, dirt, sand and dust all in that order oh look at that this is called a growth crystal it's used to speed up a lot of it's 
it's used to speed up the growth of plants, as it's in the name. So to make the hammer, you need to do this. Stone rods. I'll get four more cobblestone. Stone pebbles. And stone hammer. Now, it tells you to turn stone cobblestone into gravel, but first thing you want to do, well, actually first thing I'm going to do, is strain out my my stone pebbles. Makes it so it's an even number. Yeah. And now, you can break stone with it, and you get full cobblestone blocks, so it's a 100% chance of getting cobblestone. Instead of a chance to get enough stone pebbles to make cobblestone. So yeah. I will be trying to slow myself down so you all can follow follow me in this quest. And I'm also just trying to have fun, not get insane amounts of progress or anything like that. And you don't have to, but I really, really like to um, dig out the entire room and just make a full, uh, full square, which is what happens whenever you excavate the whole thing. And if you do know what stone block is and you have no reason to watch this, well, I've been told I have a voice to study upon, so if you ever need to study, use my voice too, I guess. But yeah, just start excavating the whole room. If you what about stack of blocks away? Or two on this part of the layer once you get rid of the three in between all these. Yeah, that's it's forty one blocks on this on the layer that I'm currently destroying. Quick maths. Take another stone hammer. I've deducted in my time playing that it takes like two and a half stone hammers to excavate the whole room. Not completely sure, but. Excavate this part. And make sure to not destroy any of the, like, this part of the layer. Unless you feel like gonna replace it with something like I did with the crafting table. Okay. But. Takes a lot to uh, destroy the entire room, a lot of cobblestone. Now this part will be a little harder to destroy, but you can still destroy it with the uh, first layer. This part.
Now, you, again, you don't have to do this if you want to keep like the design or anything. I just prefer to make my own designs here. So I destroy the entire room first. And props to Sun Kayer, the original maker of stone block, who I have no idea how they made all this. I've made a few mod packs myself, but not anything as sophisticated as this. Yeah, this second stone hammer is almost broken. Well, this time I only took, I only took two. And we got a f three stacks, almost four, of cobblestone. So, first thing we're gonna do is furnace. We're gonna break the stone crafting table. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in here and make something called a crafting station. It's uh, from Tinker's Construct. It's pretty useful. Then we're just gonna make another because we're about to make some dirt. So you only need 10 for the quest, as I can see, but I'd say basically just, um, basically make this entire thing, right, like, two by two, just right there, right, then and so it's hard to use, I'm just going to do it like that. And next quest, you'll see why I made so much more than needed. Then a bunch of dirt. Quest complete. Next quest, oh, next quest is stone crook actually, but the quest I'm talking about is saplings quest. You need four of each. And what you need to do is place down all this dirt. And take a stone cook. And if you don't know, I'm using um, something called ore excavate. Options, controls, Category or or excavate or excavation. It, you can't see it for some reason. I don't know why, but it will be right here in between dark spots and toggles slash edit. Uh, it's normally just um. It's normally or normally it's grave, but. I've changed it to a mouse button, and it use. And if you don't know, it uses food to break multiple blocks. And luckily, there we got um, all four of each. So we can claim that. We need wood. Ooh, dragon egg crux. I make a dragon exit. Oh. Did we skip you? Oh, cool. This is. I've been getting a few legendary rewards pretty good here. 
So right now I'm going to just take these and break them down. We're going to make a giant spruce sapling, hopefully. Really, hopefully. If not, then I guess that'll be fine. Yeah, I'm not sure if it can. It might be too small in this room. Seems you have to make it in like the very middle of the room. There you go. So you take your stone crook and you ore excavate the entire tree. Then for ore excavation you have to have something in your hand. The spruce wood now. Ooh, I wonder if dark oak would work. It will. Alright. Found a new thing. Since it also gives apples, we don't need to make um, normal oak. Look at all that wood. It's a little bit different in, in comparison. Just going to do this. And I'm going to just um, do this. Make some sticks. And make sure to press F7 every time. We're going to keep one of these and then turn these two into torches. place this with normal stone. And these two, you turn them into tiny charcoal. And if you've played a lot of Minecraft, then you should know that um, normal, that normal charcoal and coal both smelt eight items. Well, each of these can be turned back into a charcoal. So 
since it's only one, you can actually just um, use them as a I wish it could be center, but you cannot. So, getting as close as I can. And the next thing you do is oh, wood. That's right. You need. Oh, wait, no. It's just any type of wood. I just guess I didn't have. Actually. Oh, you need oak wood. Okay. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So. Like this. Okay, there we go. Find that blue chest. Next thing you need is string. First thing I'm going to do though. Chests. Storage. Anything that you're not going to currently use, I'd say just put it in he here. Nice. Oh, so, need tinkers? Yeah, tinkers. A little bit far. Why not? Maybe not far enough. Yeah, not far enough. One, two, three, four. Two. One, two, three, four. You need to make eight blank patterns because four is not enough. Make a stencil table. Just uh, at tink is what you would do. Next thing is pattern chest. Just like this. Part builder, just like that. Then part chest. You need a. You actually need a chest, and you need some stick. And here we are. Oh, tool station. Forgot about that part. Alright. Just there we go. And now And look at this. Okay, apples aren't that good. But you can put them in a furnace, make cooked apples, make them amazing. Three, three, three. Seven. 
Oh, right, right. Okay. I can do this. First thing I'm going to make is stone axe. And I lied. No, I didn't lie. Just... The only thing I'm going to make is not a stone axe. Stone sword, stone sword, stone pickaxe, stone axe, stone shovel, and stone hoe. Yeah, you don't have to put it in any specific order, but it gives you stain a i o t stone all in one tool. Just shift and what we need, claim that and string. String is from silkworms infecting leaves. Just one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Eh, anywhere that you can really reach that's not already infected. And basically what happens is it turns the, the leaves turn white, like you can see right here. And what I just got is an Envar Hammer. Oh dang, I didn't know there was that much attack damage. But what this does... Look at that. Okay, while I wait for this tree, I'm going to... Do a little bit of digging over here. I'm going to make it seven blocks. And this thing. Here we are. Okay, this thing's done. And we got a few sticks. Then the stain, the stone AIOT does that. Get all that. And then I can finish out this. And then, we need some apples. Okay. Now we use the in hammer. Okay. Make this really big. It will be kind of annoying because we'll have to make another in hammer later. Or really any hammer. So the difference between this and this is the way they're made. So I shift up hammer. There's these hammers. Which are used for turning cobblestone into gravel and all that. And then there are these hammers. Which are used to break three blocks at a time. And they're made like this. So you can use just about any metal. I'm currently look so the Invar hammer has eight fifty, the iron hammer has five hundred. So Invar is one of the best. So currently we're just gonna kinda of leave it like this because it does take nine at a time.
Здесь как бы. Entire thing is filled. Yeah, yeah and just break this. This sixteen. Oh, and I broke everything. I'm back. And my mouse is backwards. Okay, first one. Right there. Okay. And I did it again. Dang it. Okay, almost there. So uh, yeah, here we are. Okay. And I can break it. Alright, there we go.
Um, break that. Break that. Break that. And we are done. For now. So. Now we're going to claim this. Next thing we need is sieve. Okay. Sieves. They are made like this. Oh, wait, hold on. Just got to do this. And look at this. You hit it, you get a sieve. But I'm not one to make a sieve. I'm one to make a heavy sieve. A little bit more useful. Okay, if you don't already know, sieves I use like this. You get a string mesh, you put it inside there, and then you can use it. But, since I can, I'm going to get seven more of this. Alright, hold on, I only need four. Claim that. Claim that. And as you can see there are four different types of sieves. Flint sieve oh, meshes, meshes for this for the sieve. Silk mesh, flint mesh, iron mesh, and diamond mesh. All are better than the other. They're not all too different. If I go F. I go like this. Look at that. Okay. Let me just break. Can break this over and over again until. Ooh. There we go, four. Just like that, we have flint mesh. Never, ne never even needed to use um, the silk mesh, and that's how the iron mesh is made. Like the the four flint there. And five string there. So, for the compact or heavy sieve, technically, you have to use compressed blocks. So, instead of normal gravel, it's compressed gravel. And this is what it gives you. Or pieces. And you can do the same like this. Yeah. We now have nine stone hammers. You get a compressed stone hammer. And there's a pretty nice button here called the balance grid. So, do that. Balance grid. And it balances it for you. So I'm going to go ahead and turn six of these into gravel, compressed gravel. And what you want to do is you want to sieve like one at a time, look at how much gravel you have, and you want to save up, no, not gravel, how much iron you have, and you want to save up for 16 ore pieces. So you are. 
Because you want to save as much gravel as you can. Oh, seems you're going to need all. Uh, seems I'm going to need all six for this one. What you do, kind of like the stone pebbles, put them there and you get iron ore chunks. Throw them in the furnace. And. It'll just turn straight into iron ingots. And turn this out. He's gonna turn that charcoal into torches. And there we go. And stick in the mesh, take out the flint right there. Just gonna and then, now, uh, if you do this, heavy sieve, uh, any sieve really, okay, it'll give you iron ore, copper ore, tin ore, and all these ores, flint, and coal. That's how this works. 30% chance for iron, here, it's now a 40% chance, 14% chance, it makes the chances better, but... That's not how it works for the um, iron sifting mesh. It doesn't just make it better. It also adds lapis, diamonds, and emeralds gets rid of flint. I receive 1% chance for 7 diamonds. So... Or if you have a hundred pieces of gravel, technically that would mean you could get seven diamonds from it if you had the worst luck. I'm just gonna do all this. And we have diamonds. Look at that. Just that fast. Five in there, so we need three more. Okay, and that's seven. So I think. That's where I'm going to end it today. Got some iron, got some diamonds. Day two. See ya next time. Bye.